This is the thinnest Windows laptop I have ever used. This is the brand new Asus ZenBook S13 OLED and this is a great alternative for people who don't want a MacBook but want a Windows laptop that's even sleeker than a MacBook. I mean the design here is actually crazy. See first of all the lid is made out of magnesium alloy and it has a very ceramic like stony texture and it looks really classy and feels smooth to touch. The chassis is all aluminium and it looks premium all around. I mean this is a gorgeous looking laptop and I like that all the metals used here are from recycled sources. That's good. But the big highlight of this design is how thin and light this is. I mean this weighs 1 kg which is 25% less than a MacBook Air and this is packing in an OLED display. This is also super thin at 10.9 mm and it's not just the numbers. This is amazingly comfortable to carry and use even on a lap. This is the most you know, lappable laptop. Honestly, all of us at our office were amazed at how sleek this laptop is. What's awesome though is that even though this laptop is super light, super thin, Asus hasn't compromised on the build quality at all. This is solid. I mean, this is almost impossible to bend, no flex anywhere. It opens up with one finger smoothly without any wobbles. The hinge is ASUS's Argo Lift 180 degree hinge, which raises the keyboard for better cooling. Plus, this has got military grade certification for durability. Anyway, it's not just the design that's premium, just look at everything else. The display is absolutely stunning. This is ASUS's Lumina OLED, which is basically ASUS telling us that this is their premium OLED panel. And honestly, it shows. This OLED is a class apart from mid-range OLED displays. Colors are very vivid. You obviously get the deep blacks and everything looks super sharp thanks to the high 2.8K resolution. It's also a very bright OLED panel at 550 nits and there is Dolby Vision support as well as HDR and movies and shows look really, really good. I also like the 16 to 10 aspect ratio, the wide color coverage considering this is at the end of the day a work laptop. Now, there is the doubt of burn-in in OLED panels, but ASUS has plenty of features to make sure that there's no issues in the long run. The speakers are also premium. They are dual speakers with Dolby Atmos support and they have been tuned by Harman Kardon. And these speakers are almost perfect for watching movies, listening to music. And that's because the sound stage is really impressive, detailing is good and the loudness is good enough which you can boost with this option in the My ASUS app. The keyboard is also, you guessed it, very premium and I love typing on this. I mean, when typing at high speeds, a lot of people hate the keyboard noise, but this is really interesting. This keyboard offers accurate key responses, satisfying key actuations, consistent typing feedback while sounding silent. The trackpad is also super premium. It's a massive glass touchpad that matches the 16 to 10 aspect ratio of the screen and gestures on this is smooth and clicks are extremely satisfying. The webcam is a full HD webcam and I like that there's also Windows Hello support which is pretty reliable. The webcam also has ASUS's AI Sense camera features like lighting optimization, background blurring, motion tracking which pans the camera around to keep you in the frame. There's also gaze correction which can make it look as if your eyes are directly looking at the camera since people look at the screen, right? I also like the port selection here. You get the HDMI port which is awesome in a thin design like this. And this has two Thunderbolt 4 ports with support for data, display and PD charging. On the right, you get a USB-A port and 3.5mm jack. All of that is great, but now let's talk about performance. See, this is an ultra-thin laptop, so it is powered by a U-series 13-gen Core i7 processor with 10 cores, 12 threads, the iris sexy graphics, and the benchmarks are pretty good. I mean, it's not the most powerful performing laptop you can get, but for an ultra-thin laptop like this, these cores are pretty good. The SSD and RAM are also top of the line. There's 32 gigs of fast LPDDR5 RAM with speeds of 5200 MHz and the SSD is a 1 TB NVMe Gen 4 storage from Samsung and it's quite speedy as you can see. And in terms of upgradability, this has a user replaceable SSD slot but everything else is soldered including the RAM and the Wi-Fi card. Anyway, coming to the real-world performance, things are very good in general usage when there's a lot of Chrome tabs, multitasking with multiple apps open, and it's all smooth. No stutter, no freezing, nothing. We even did a Photoshop test on this, editing a photo with multiple layers, and there was no lag whatsoever. It was a pretty smooth experience. When it comes to cooling, it's all pretty good, but the laptop does get warm, especially around the area above the keyboard when running benchmarks or games, but other than that, it's all cool. The laptop has dual fans and dual heat pipes, and the fan noise is nominal most of the time, but you can customize the fan profile in the My Asus app, and even at high speeds, the fans aren't annoyingly loud. Now, we expect great battle, especially from super portable laptops like this one, and this has a 63 watt hour battery, and Asus claims up to 14 hours of battery life on this, but in our experience, things were close to 7 hours, which is kind of decent. As for charging, this comes with a 65 watt USB C PD charger and it charges the laptop to 70% in around 49 minutes, which is, I think, pretty fast. Let's talk about the pricing now. The Asus ZenBook S13 OLED's base variant with Core i5, 16 GB RAM, 512 GB SSD cost rupees 1,49,990, while the top of the line variant I showed you cost rupees 1,49,990. Now, I personally feel the pricing is good, especially for the base variant. I mean, this is a laptop that's focused on bringing an ultra thin premium design that is extremely ergonomic to use while still being reasonably powerful 
powerful to fulfill performance demands and I think this succeeds at that. Everything about this laptop just feels very consistent, very premium. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think of this laptop. Is this the MacBook alternative for people who want a Windows laptop in the MacBook Air form factor? Let's discuss. Comment below.